Hi, my name is Andrea and I'm part of the Parent Council at Kaiser. I really enjoy being a part of the council and being able to bring up different experiences my son has had with all the different treatments and things he has been through here at Kaiser. My son is 7 years old right now and at only the age of 2 he was diagnosed with CVID, Common Variable Immune Deficiency. It has been a long road as you can imagine. I didn't know at his diagnosis that he would have lifelong blood infusions every 28 days in order to be as healthy as possible. I had no idea at his diagnosis the dramatic change it would make in our lives and how he would not be able to go to public school because the germs would be too much for him to stand or that he cannot do play dates because the germs are too much for him to stand even with his blood infusions. He just gets sick too much and too often, and it's too much of a risk for him. So along this journey, we have definitely had different experiences with doctors and procedures and surgeries and treatments and nurses. So there are two things that I'd like to talk about today, one of which is bedside manner. I feel a lot of doctors lose their bedside manner over years of being a doctor. I think bedside manner is extremely crucial and important. When you have a patient who is struggling and going through a hard time or who is just hearing their diagnosis for the first time, it's very important to still have empathy with them. Show emotional support. Show that you're concerned about them. Don't just rush through quickly like it's another day of work for you because for that patient, it's not. Their world has just crumbled down and they have just heard something very devastating or they're about to experience a surgery or a procedure for the first time which is also very scary. So please remember the importance of giving them your time, your emotions, and your bedside manner. The other thing I like to bring up is how rare disorders are rare but they're not impossible. When my son was getting diagnosed with CVID it kept getting pushed aside it's just another infection and nothing else was done about it even though the antibiotics were not helping he just got sicker and sicker so i know as a doctor it's important to look at the things that probably is the cause of what is going on because most of the time what you would normally be trained on and what you would normally diagnose as is the cause but once in a while you do come across a zebra instead of a horse. So remember that when you hear those, hear those horse hooves, it could also be a zebra, which is what my son is called in his CVID group, a little zebra. So remember that over time, if someone is still in need, is still in pain, is still complaining of something, and none of the tests have found anything yet, they could be a zebra, they could have something rare. Thank you so much for your time and welcome to Kaiser. Bye.